Hello, how is everyone? It is a rainy, 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 rainy Thursday here. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to go ahead and flutter myself out. If you don't know what flutter means, that's S-H-A-R-E. And by the way, my name is Tiffany, in case you've never seen me before. I'm going to be using some pharmacy products. They're super affordable, but yet still quality. And we're just going to get started here in just a minute. Just keep in mind, the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using are not pharmacy. <clears throat> so I will not be holding them up or promoting them in any way. I'm going to go ahead, though, and we're going to flutter. Flutter, flutter. And when you hop on, say hello so I know you guys are there. It's just a super rainy, ho-hum day here. And I just want to sleep. <laughs> Anybody else? Or is it just me? Probably just me. Probably just me, but it's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get some tape up here and get this look started. If you don't mind fluttering me out, and if you've not already followed, oh, my hair is super dirty. If you guys have not already followed me, please do so if you don't mind. I'm just a stay-at-home mom who enjoys playing in makeup, helping build other women's confidence, and all those fun things. Hey, Shannon. How are you, babe? All right, so tape on. If you have a super sticky tape, stick it to the back of your hand first. The reason I do this is it leaves a nice, clean line for later and just makes things super easy. How is a your day, Miss Shannon? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Can we just leave that on there? No, I'm just kidding. Right, so I'm still kind of unsure of what kind of look I want to do today. I know I'm wearing gray. I think we're going to go into like some smoky rose kind of thing just to change it up a little bit. Because uh, I need a change. I need so many changes right now. It's not funny. Do you ever just roll over and be like, I need a change? So this is just a like dusty pink shade. I'm going to use it to transition. Then we're going to go in with an even darker, smoky, pinky shade. We'll add some grays in here because, you know, it's all about the gray today. The sky is gray. Everything's gray. I'm not feeling gloomy. I just don't know. I, for some reason, want, like, a dusty, smoky, pink eye look today. Mm-mm-mm. So tell me how your day's been, what you've been up to. Are you guys planning for your dinners? If you are, what are you having? Home girl here is hungry. She hasn't had lunch yet, and she screwed up and left her office door open. So if kitten getting starts, I will have to get up and close that because mama ain't in the mood for that today. I'm not in the mood for kitties to be making the day even crazier. <clears throat> so when you hop on, say hello. If you end up catching this on the replay, meaning this live light right up there is no longer on, you can still comment, interact, and I will come in as soon as Facebook notifies me and chit chat with you while you catch the replay. Everyone is super quiet. I see your little bobbleheads up there. Can't make out who they are because they're so tiny. So like I said, we're just going to build up a pretty dusty rose backdrop and then go from there. We're almost done with this shade and we're going to go into a different one. 
not really use this shade a whole lot, so fingers crossed. <laughs> well, that's one doodle bug. He must be hungry. You ever notice teenagers are kind of like zombies? They only come out when they're hungry or they need something. It's like they only come out to feed. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you think about it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go to the other side and make it match. <laughs> hey Ashley, how are you doing, sweetie? How are you doing? Happy Thursday. The work week is almost over. Oh, <laughs> there's the zombie. Oh, child, you your hair. <laughs> headset head much you got that headset hair babe it's like you just rolled out of bed take them off and you brought the fur balls with you so when you leave take them with you I'm not chasing cats off of my walls and furniture while trying to do my makeup thank you If hey we do me solid Will you shut that door? Mm -hmm. Please and thank you. <clears throat> so they don't just wander back in here. Because now that they know where I'm at, they'll, they'll be back. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I hate having to be like that with them. They come in here and they literally try to climb the walls. Because I do have a cloth backdrop hanging back there. And they will try to climb it. Well, there is no try. They will. They will climb it. All right, we're going to go into a gray shade now. Oh, hello. She's more pigmented than I thought. What's up, boo? How was your day? Holy shnikes. That's what happens when you have eyeshadow that you don't use a lot. You go to put it on and it's like, ooh, it's crap. Yep, because that's just what happens. Just work with it though, don't panic. Blend and don't panic. <clears throat> what do we think? Did I screw it up? I hope not. I really don't want to start over. Let's go do the other side. Let's go do the other side. <clears throat> I'm going to go with the whole trust the process part. Do, do, do. Just bringing that a little into that outer corner and transitioning it up into those pink shades. And adding just a little bit more of that darker, dusty shade and blending it with that shimmery gray. All right, and go back into the lightest. Just want to make sure you kept everything nice and transitioned. Okay. We need a nice fleshy tone for the brow bone. Give my brush a quick clean. Get that gray off of there. If you don't have one of these, I suggest getting one. They are super handy dandy. This one's by Doe Color. 
They do have an artsy one, I think, on Amazon. I just picked that one up when I was doing an eyeshadow haul with the Doe Color. I was picking up just a whole bunch of stuff. And so I just added it to cart. I think it would end up actually being cheaper than the Artsy brush cleaner, but it works is the same. It's just gonna knock off any eyeshadow residue. So there's no need to clean your brushes 24 seven. Although I do recommend cleaning them at least once, once a week if you wear makeup every day. Although I've not been following that. So do as I say, not as I do. Um, because bacteria will build up and oils will build up in your brushes and it will lead to a breakout. I have to clean my brushes on this Sunday. I do have enough though. Thank goodness I can get by with that. Unless you have a huge brush collection. <clears throat> I got more brushes than the average person. All right. So I got that done. I'm going to figure out exactly what I'm going to put on my lid. I'm thinking a champagne shade would be super pretty. We're going to cut the crease first, as always. <clears throat> With a super light concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the brush that I ended up using yesterday because it's super dense. Now, if you don't want to do cut creases or half a cut crease, then girlfriend, don't do it. But it just know it is super easy and it is a good, clean way to really get your eyeshadow to pop. I hear a lot of people say all the time, I would love to be able to do my makeup like you do. I just can't get it down. I don't know what it is. This is one thing that you think would not make a difference, but it will make all the difference. I need to take my finger to kind of transition it to that smoky shade. What do you guys want to talk about? I'm super bored and would love adult conversation. I'm so tired of hearing the rain. And the constant, like, drip. Because it does one of two things. It either makes me sleepy or I have to pee a lot. Because, you know, mom bladder. Alright, so we've got the crease cut. I'm going to take a little bit of that smoky shade back up in there. Back up in there. I'm just going to kind of flick it. That's what I call taking the kick back and still using the kick back because it like flicks it towards the concealer okay i think that one's too white Let's go with that one. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. This is like a satiny champagne, but it has a little bit of a silver undertone to it. So that it still goes with the overall look. Okay. 
and go to the other side the same way. I think everybody's probably waiting in the school lines for their babies. If you're in the car line, just say car line below. Curious what you guys are doing. I think most people here where I am, school is canceled today. I don't know. My boy was a virtual learner today. I think they did call most of our local schools off because of flooding. All right, what do we pick? Some shiny eyeball lids. <clears throat> All right, waterline. Does anyone have any questions or anything about anything that you've seen me use so far? And this is Pharmacy's Express Waterproof Pencil Liner. She's super soft. No more poking your eyeball to death. And this one is super soft but stays put. Go to this side. I pin my lashes up because otherwise I'll still stab myself in the eye. So if you're wondering why my other finger is up there. And there goes the nose. Every time I poke my eye like that, my nose goes a running, y'all. Every single time. All right, ink liner. Let's take the tape off so it's not in the way. You can choose to leave your tape on to do your wing liner if you want, or you can pull it off. I just use the shadow line as a guide so that I don't have to leave the tape on. Because if you don't get that tape mashed completely flat and your eyes tear up, you will get, like, it'll run down under the tape. Done it. I've done it live. So, this is our ink liner. She is amazing. Even if you are just starting out with liquid liner, you can literally use the side. And get a nice a clean line. I do have a question for you guys and maybe someone will want to answer. So when you're watching makeup videos like this one, what are you looking for? Is it just a source of entertainment? Does it help you learn new things? Like, tell me why you choose to watch makeup videos. I know reasons I watch them, but I want to hear your reasons for watching them. Your skills are the bomb. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Is that why you watch? <laughs> and love the makeup. I appreciate your honest answer, Nicole. This wing is going to be touching my eyebrow in a second if I'm not careful. <laughs> we have winged brows. <laughs> 
How are you doing today, Nicole? <clears throat> it helps you learn. Awesome. Yeah, everybody, like I, I've noticed that everybody does their makeup different. No two people will do their eyeliner the same. Um, sometimes they'll have what appears to be the same technique, but they still kind of do it different. It's an individual thing, just kind of like hair videos. I don't know if you guys watch many people do their hair, um, but women who do their hair and they do those hair tutorial videos, like it's just something so relaxing sometimes about just watching other women take care of themselves for me. And yes, of course, I learn other things. Sometimes, every once in a while, I'll, I'll learn. I'll catch on to something new. And like some of them, I just watch them because they tickle the crap out of me. You've tried and tried to do different makeup looks and you just can't do it. Girl, the more nat okay, so I struggle with the more natural eye looks or the no makeup makeup looks. Those are the ones I struggle with. I have the hardest time doing that. If you tell me to show up looking like I have on makeup but I don't have on makeup, we're going to have a problem because this girl cannot do those to save her life. Like someone asked me the other day for a <clears throat> winged eyeliner tutorial. I've never done a winged eyeliner tutorial because that would be like two minutes long. If it's a good eyeliner day. It'd be like two minutes. And there's more that goes behind the doing and the editing than the actual length of the video. So I'm just like, it's easier if you just go catch a live and fast forward to the part where I do my eyeliner. Because <sighs> otherwise it could take me an hour to do a five minute video. I don't think people realize how complicated it is. Okay, ink liner done. She's not perfect, but she'll do for me. Let's make sure we don't have any that's the thing I love about the ink liner so you guys know before watching these other eyeliners that there's almost always leftover eyeliner like where it touches my lashes in my lashes that is not the case but it's such a habit for me to go back and make sure that there's nothing in there <laughs> I'm still doing it. So I've got to learn to trust the wing liner, to trust the ink liner that it doesn't do what other eyeliners do, like gunk up your lashes and make a mess. So you got to clean a mess before you make another mess. I love the wings, but when I do it, it looks like I have black eyes. Oh girl, I have bad wing days. Don't think I don't. I have bad wing days. So I think today we're going to switch it up and we're going to use the stay matte. I've been using the BB Balm the last two days. There's still plenty in there, but it'll be just fine, I think, sitting where it is. So we're just going to do a stay matte day. I feel like I have a loose eyelash, y'all. Don't do this. Okay, I got it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I've had bad wing days. I have had bad wing days. They're few and far between, but I have had them. Like, sometimes I'll get it too low, and it'll look like it folds funny, because, you know, my eyes are getting older. Okay. See? Like, right there. If you squint, it looks funny. So, just don't squint. <laughs> <clears throat> don't squint <clears throat> all right so 
Stay Matte Liquid Foundation is also a pore minimizer and a sebum control. So if you are oily, this is going to be for you. It is mineral makeup, so you want to give everything a really good shake. You don't want to just pop it open. It will separate a little bit. Girl! She's the girl, 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 girl. So we're going to dampen our beauty blender. This is just a spray bottle with a little water in her because there's no sink in here. And the reason when you want to dampen your beauty blender is because you don't want all your product to stay in your blender. See what I mean? My blender needs washing. It's so gross. Ew. Ew. Okay, so I use shade 03. I have 09 as well. I can use either or. I'll show you the difference real quick just so you can see. It's basically just an undertone thing. This is the 09, okay? There's a little bit of an orangey undertone. And this is the 03. So one is a little more orange than the other. And since we have them both up there, we're just going to do the same thing everywhere else. Or we're going to look really weird. We'll just mix the two today. We'll mix them. Just call me Little Miss Mix-A-Lot. Because I'm, I'm okay with showing you guys all the different things. I probably only have way too much on my face, but it's fine. It's fine. That looks super weird. Look at that queen. We're just gonna pound it out. This is a maximum coverage, ladies. I'm gonna do a transfer test with this one today. Since I did a transfer test with the balm, I'm gonna do it the exact same way that I did it yesterday. Except I'm going to do it with this. They are super close. So, here is the reason I decide to use the 03 more than the 09. So, when you have super white areas of scarring and pigmentation, whether you have an orange, or orange undertone or not, those scarred pigmentated areas are going to show up more with an orangey undertone versus a neutral undertone. Okay? So that is why, like, the orangey undertone will make your scar, that white pigmented raised scar, show more. So you want to use a natural because the scar tissue is white and more natural. So that's why I, I did that. And, I mean, it's still going to show a little bit just because... It's textured, it's raised, all the things. And hiding things that are raised and textured is super hard. It's super hard. And I'm just bringing it down the neck just a little bit, even though it's not necessary. And you can see my makeup actually matches my neck. So if you struggle with color matching yourself or anything like that, let me know. Now it's going to look super white on my forehead. Why? Because I have an age area. Like it's pigmented right there from years of sun damage. Hence the discoid lupus. And so unless you, that's a skincare thing. You have to lighten it through your skincare. So those age areas, as you can see, are now covered. And then I flip because I'm a dark haired girl and use the clean end of my beauty blender to keep that hairline from looking gunky or chunky and from getting too much product in my hair. You don't like it one bit, it messes with you when you put your makeup on, right? You just want to make sure everything is nice and pounded into your face. I'm one of those girls I could sit here and do this part for forever because it just, it's like, it feels really good. My beauty blender is super smooshy. It's super smooshy and it feels really good. Now, that foundation does not feel like you have a mask on your face. It's just super lightweight. I thought products that I've used before were super lightweight 
and non-transferable, all the claims. However, this has really upheld to it. You saw my transfer pictures yesterday, you guys, and I used the tablet with pure intention because I wanted it to be completely black. What shows up anything better, like makeup transfer, is going to be on black, a black shiny screen, and there was barely anything there. I had to hold it there because I have a 10-second counter to take my pictures, <clears throat> um, so it was there for a good minute. Now, was it there for an hour while I was on a phone conversation? No, but who's going to sit? Do you think I'm going to sit here and hold a phone to my face for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> or a tablet to my face for an hour. No, you can get the gist that it is basically non-transferable onto your electronics just by the pictures that I did yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and do our conceal to highlight. I'm gonna use a full coverage liquid concealer in a shade Light Ivory 03. I use a lot of concealer, you guys. You typically wouldn't use as much as I use, but I don't know. It's just like a habit that I can't, break. I feel like I need it, especially right there. <laughs> and my pores show a lot through here. So I like to lighten it all up so they don't stick out as bad. My skin is not perfect. I know you people think it is. There's no filter on this video. There are no filters on my pictures. So I don't get why you don't get the cold, hard, ugly truth on there because I'm telling you in person it's all a little different all right make sure that beauty blender is good and wet she's wet and pound now I can't get really into the corner with this thing so I use a brush to get good and in the corner be careful around that wing sister they say not to bring your highlight out this far but i'm just used to it so i'll keep doing things my way it doesn't look cakey as long as i'm not having cakiness issues then it's fine and that's one thing about this concealer it is not cakey in the least bit so if you have concealer issues, maybe the concealer you're using is not working for you, let a girl know. We do have a 30 day money back guarantee. We'll be looking like we got a Nike check up under our eyeball. Not to worry, it will be fine in just a minute. Like I said, I'm no professional. I just do what works for me. You want to get a little more on the professional side? Let me know. We can we can find you someone who will do everything by the cosmetology books. Because that just ain't me, sis. Mm -mm. Never has been. I never went to cosmetology school. The only reason I have the experience I have is through tons of research, watching a lot of trained professionals videos and picking up tips and tricks from a little from this person, a little from that person, learning the information and then learning to use it and make it my own, put my own spin on it. And that's how anyone does any any career choice or any job. Hey Tanya, how are you, babe? Just beating my face. How about you? One busy ass day. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you okay, girl? Or are you close to um, saying it again with explicit curse words? <laughs> Sprinkled the love. Thank you, Tammy. How are you, girl? Long time no see. All right. 
and I'm good. <laughs> Carl, if you need to yell about it, scream and cuss about it, you're in the right place. <laughs> you're in the right place. This is your safety net. Overwhelmed, but I live, girl. I feel ya. Probably way different. But I get it. I think the whole nation is like overwhelmed right now. Not trying to belittle your stress any at all. I'm just saying. I think everybody is hella overwhelmed. But... If a makeup transfer is one of the things that happens to be stressing you out, just know this this makeup that I used yesterday, that BB Balm with the transparent face powder, is legit transfer approved and so is that liquid lipstick. Because if it don't come off on a white piece of paper, I don't think it's going to come off on your mask. Just saying. Bring it down, bring it down real low. Bring it down, bring it down real low. All right, and so I'm going to go in with a different clean beauty blender, and we're just going to use that transparent powder and just really get it in. This is a light bake. I'm not trying to act like I'm 20 because I'm 40. I'm <laughs> just saying. Typically, you wouldn't bake <clears throat> under your eyes, aging eyes, because it's going to, it can appear cakey. So, if you start to notice what you're doing is cakey, you're using A, too much concealer, or B, too much setting powder. Did you use the BB? Not today. Not today. Today, I used the Stay Matte, and I mixed 03 and 09. And showed why I can use both of those shades if I want to and it'd be okay and why I prefer kind of mixing or just the O3 because of the scarring that's right here if I'm using a warm undertone like an orange undertone it show the scar tissue shows more Versus if I use a more natural undertone in that area, the coverage is beautiful. Well, thank you. If I use a more natural, and I'm just going to take and set everything. Not that it's not dry. It's just going to help my contour go on that much smoother by making sure everything is legit. Okay, that concealer right there, girlfriend, you really need to... Do you think the BB cream would be good for young skin? My oldest is 11 and starting to dabble. She wants to use foundation but doesn't need coverage. Okay, so that or the Fit Me uh, would be good for her. The Be Fit, I haven't really gotten into this. This is more of a tinted moisturizer. So it's going to have even less coverage than the BB. And it's sweat proof for her. And so that would make it through PE, phys ed, all the teenage things that she's doing right now. And knowing that it is a lightweight makeup and a tinted moisturizer, it's going to give uh, all, the, all the things. And it does not clog your pores or cause breakouts. So I think this would probably be best for her, the Be Fit line. Um, but if she mascara wise I can't vouch for the mascara and I can't really vouch 100% for this because I've not used this I'm not about tinted moisturizers I need I need coverage so I think our BB balm has way more coverage than any other BB that I've ever tried before even though it's non-transferable so but that if it were my daughter I would probably start her out with this if she doesn't really want coverage you know what I'm saying now, she really wants coverage, and she's trying to hide it from you and covering it up and saying, well, Mom, can I just do a BB cream? Because it won't have that much coverage, blase, blase. If she's not being 100% truthful, then yes, the BB would be fun. <laughs> just saying. I know how girls are. <laughs> 
just saying, not calling your kid a liar or anything like that, but she may be just dabbling for now, but she's trying to do so respectfully within your wishes. So that's, I just know because that's what I did. I just know because that's how I was. I was like, mm, I ain't trying to deal with the wrath of my mom. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to contour. contour. Contour is not a must. However, for me, it is because I'm just that girl. I can't imagine doing my makeup now and not contouring. So the peach palette is my go-to for this. She's a three-in-one. She has your contour, highlight, and blush all in one palette. Or I also have the Sculpting Trio that has a bronzer, a little more of a lighter contour shade and also a light shade to highlight like under your eyes. We also have other face palettes. We have another one that has a blush highlight and contour in it and we have a three palette that has all three different highlight shades. And the only reason I have this sculpting trio is because I needed this little middle shade to go from here to here to keep everything. I'm, I'm a lazy person. I don't like to blend a lot. So I'll just buy more product and in between one because <laughs> I'm that girl. <laughs> I don't like to sit here and blend all day. So I will legit find a way to do it without having to blend, 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 blend till my arm falls off. I like to bring it down just a little bit. Right there. Some people think that looks weird. I like it, so I keep doing it. Then I go to the lighter shade and just kind of go along the edges of that peach palette contour and it just kind of helps pull it together. Do, 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 do. and calls for less blending although I still blend it's just less of it so I hope that answer answers your question Mindy if that wasn't helpful let me know and we can talk more after my life awesome that sounds perfect I'm sure she would go full face if we allowed it she thinks she's grown uh oh she thinks she's grown Trying to give her a little leeway and compromise. Yes, the Fit Me would probably be the better compromise because, like I said, it is um, <clears throat> just a tinted moisturizer. It's going to give her a little color to help with a little color correction. And with her being in school and phys ed and being super active, she won't have to keep cake and powder on her face, which will clog her pores. Um, and definitely make sure she has a good skincare regime with her starting to wear makeup um, as well. Just to make sure. And if she's acne prone or she's having any acne issues, you might wanna try to consider that tea tree line for her. Now I'm just gonna go in and continue blending out <clears throat> using a lighter shade from the Sculpting Trio right here. Cause I like it. But yeah, she she definitely wants to take, she's going to start wearing makeup. Here's the thing, I started wearing makeup when I was nine. Okay, nine. Secretively, slowly building it up. And once my mom figured it out, she was like, great, you're wearing makeup. Are you at least using good makeup? Are you this? Are you that? No, I'm using what I can afford. I'm using buying with my allowance and all the things, which I just continue to do. Because I went against mom's rules, so I paid for it myself. So, but definitely just make sure she's using quality and taking really good care of her skin. She starts sleeping in it, things like that. That's a no bueno. I, d I slept in mine last night, so, and I'll pay for it more than anyone. I'll probably end up with a zit or redness or something on my face from it so just let her know the consequences of sleeping in her makeup does that mean she'll get discoid lupus no 
Does it mean she'll have acne, clogged pores, huge pores? Probably. Blackheads, more acne. But yet, yeah, most definitely the fit me. Contour that nose, girl. I don't like my nose, so that's why I go through all the trouble of contouring it. I'm not crazy about the overall shape. However, I don't have $15,000 to go get a bomb.com surgeon and fix my nose. So, Nor do I want to be laying around for like a week with my face feeling like it's going to fall off. And just sleep. And blend. Yeah, a little bit of leeway. I would say, and probably just a super light, like peachy pink blush for her. If she insists on wearing a blush, just get something super light, peachy pink. Um, as far as eyeshadows, I would stick to just neutral tones. Make sure she knows the right way. And this is just mascara. Get her a good mascara, but don't let her use waterproof every day. Uh, waterproof is not actually good for you to wear every single day. Only when you know you need it. It's one of those only when you know you need it thing. Excuse me, my nose was running. All right, blush. Mm, we're gonna go ahead and go with the peach palette pink peach today I'm gonna put her together a gift set for Christmas a little makeup skincare yes absolutely here's the thing if we would have all listened when we were younger we wouldn't be spending all the money that we spend on our skincare um, trying to reverse the effects and all the craziness. And if we would have always used quality products, we probably wouldn't be in the, in the boats that we're in. If I would have listened back then, of course, the only access I had, I don't want to say the name. I had access to one good line but it wasn't good for me because it caused cystic acne i won't say the name because they are still very active in makeup and it just did not go well for me just find what works for her most definitely start her off slow too um especially when you get into the skincare part because unfortunately skincare can cause purges and so you want to start one thing at a time so if she has a reaction you know what it could have been oh Kurt, I think we're gonna use that gray shade and then fade it down maybe into the burgundy The light burgundy. Yeah, she definitely doesn't need a full face just yet. Tell her grow slow. Grow slow, my little princess. That's what I would tell her. And my daughter, she um, she used to be about makeup there for a hot minute, but I think since motherhood, she's kind of slowed her roll on the whole makeup grind. I see pictures of her with less makeup now that she's a mom. <clears throat>
you have a little toddler running around, so I'm sure that makes it hard. All right, let's highlight. I'm not going to go with the peach palette highlight today. We're going to use that eyeshadow we used on the lid, and we're going to go up here and highlight right here. Get it in our brows, because you know. You can totally use shimmer shades of eyeshadows wherever you choose. And a fan brush. We need a fan. I'm literally using an eyeshadow to do this, you guys. Nothing else but an eyeshadow. Just a nice little light kiss of a highlight because I don't want nothing super heavy. I don't need to look like I'm sweating today. She loves all those all things makeup. I figure she's going to be into it. She might feel good at it. Awesome. Absolutely. She if she starts this early, she gonna have skills. I have to say, I might not have a professional license or anything like that, but I have good abilities. I'm not spot on with all my techniques. I'm sure it's not all textbook, but um, I don't suck at it. <laughs> I have sucky days, but I don't suck at it. Just getting any powder out of them brows because them brows can get kind of crunchy looking all right under uh i'm glad she enjoys my lives but tell her to have several influences find all the all the different styles and all the different techniques because i kind of just have a few styles and techniques well don't put all her eggs in one basket follow several she can learn from lots of people lots of people okay 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 why are you still laying there we're done with that so all that's left is lashes and lips we're probably gonna do a nude lip today as many of you probably hate hearing that, we're probably going to do a nude lip. Just FYI, this shirt's getting on my nerves. All right, so let's do, we're going to curl the lashes. If you're intimidated by this device, don't be. It's super simple. Just don't pull on your lashes. Don't squeeze too hard. <clears throat> and jerk your lashes out. We're going to use the deep black mascara and we're probably gonna mix a little zen with it and here's the reason I do that this one this brush and formula gives a little more volume and va va boom but I still like the zen to give me the length so that's why I mix the two I mean I can get length I can just sit here and build this up but I would rather just one and done and these products are so affordable I can literally buy two mascaras for the $30 that I normally would pay for one so 
So. And I have a nice laid back mascara for when I just want laid back lash days. And I have a nice voluminous one. I just happen to be a more dramatic lash girl. And I'm going to show you one coat of just the deep black. I'm going to get them nice and coated. Get in there. Get in there, little doggy. Just that spot right there. Okay, so that's one coat. One. You could stop there or you can build them up. I like to build them up. I've got to get our lash serum though. I've heard all rave reviews and there was actually gross. So I'm going to have to try it because I don't think my old one was really doing anything except keeping them healthy, which is fine, but I want growth too. I want legit longer lashes. <laughs> and so now I'm going to switch over to the Zen. The Zen. I just love the name of it too. Zen. Who wouldn't be Zen? Got good lashes? You will be totally Zen. I kind of take it from the mid lash to the end. Right there and up. There and up. I'm not really going all the way to the base because I got everything I needed for the base out of the deep black. Touched my lid at some point. No worries. This is probably like watching paint dry for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm peculiar about my lashes. And if you want good lashes, you do have to take the time and comb through them. I hear so many women complain. I don't care what I use, how I do it, I just can't get my lashes to look like yours. Well, for one, they're my lashes. For two, if you don't comb through them and take your time, you're not going to have good lashes either. If I don't, I don't have good lashes. So that's why I take my time doing them. And sometimes one side looks better than the other, like this one right now. So we're going to go back and fix this one. See, these, these did the blending. And I just can't do, um, holy, holy smokes. I just can't do uh, the whole glue thing. And I was advised against doing magnetic lashes. So I will be doing magnet ones. Even if, if pharmacy has lashes coming, if they're magnetic, you won't see me use them. No, if they're glue, I'll probably give them a whirl, but magnetic, no, no. Mm -mm. When, my, my, when my eye doctor says he doesn't advise me to use them, I won't be using them. So, three coats, super affordable. One mascara is $8.90, and I don't remember the other one. Hold the phone, I will tell you, because that's why I keep my catalog right here. The Zen is $8.90 and the Deep Black. Where are you? The Deep Black is $14.90. However, if you become a beauty influencer, your Zen will be $4 and your Deep Black will be $7. 
So, just saying. You can get drugstore prices, get quality products. And that's exactly why I do what I do. I like saving and I like offering the savings to other women. And even if you pay full price, these are still super affordable. <laughs> oh, let's do lippy. Lippy, 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 lippy. So, since we used all natural yesterday, we're going to use Brave today. I think Brave will go good with this eye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. We're going to use the same lip liner we did yesterday. The same. Mm, this pencil sharpener no work is so good for that pencil. <laughs> it no work is so good. Don't mess up my lip liner, please. I will not be happy. Okay, let's try it again. Hmm. It keeps breaking my tip. I need a tip. I don't like that sharpener. Let's see if I have another one. Let's see if I have a better one. Probably not. Hold the phone. It's just another piece of crap one like this one. Let's see if this one will do it. This one's probably dead too. That's probably why it's down there. Oh, that was better. That was better. We'll go with that. I had to get a new pencil sharpener. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm back. Okay. So, this is 201. Same liner I used yesterday. I'm going to start from the top and go down, but then I come back up. I just think it helps the curvature of my lip. I don't really overline, but I live on the edge. <clears throat> she living on the edge. All right, and this is our Stay Matte Liquid in the shade Brave, number 205. This is my favorite nude shade, the favorite. Of the two that I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, I probably got too much on there this time. Get on top lip. So, these are non-transferable. However, if you notice transfer, it's probably because you've got too much on. I did notice that. I had to start cleaning off my doe foot applicator. So, I didn't get too much on there. I might have a little trouble today because I did get a little bit on that bottom lip. A little too much on there. And that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all she wrote for today. Pretty decent look. Just laid back, kind of plain. But it's fine. 
I like it. I'm just pushing up on my lashes so that I'll relock the lash curl and the lash curler back in there and we're done. That's it, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. If you're not comfortable dropping them below, simply message this page or drop the beauty with Tiffany Estes part and just reach out to Tiffany Estes and I will get with you. Um, if we're not friends, shoot me a friend request because sometimes I'll go directly into spam and I may not see your message, even though I still try to check it. I still try to check it, but sometimes, you know, Facebook, you know. All right, so we want to make sure everything's nice and blended, and we're done. This is it, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for hopping on and keeping me company. For those of you who had questions, I hope I was helpful to you. And if you have more questions, feel free to PM me. Yo, Maria, I'm done. <laughs> How are you, girlfriend? I'm fixing to hop off here. She's like, yo, and I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> Nothing personal, just go back and catch the beginning, my love, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. We're sliding right into the weekend, so if you need anything, just let a girl know. We have a little bit of something for legit everyone. We have skincare for men, women, babies. We have foot care. We have personal care. We have massage gels. We have shampoo, hair masks, nail polish. Like, there's so much home, household, cleaning supplies, colognes, perfumes, uh, like, kind of like bath and body works kind of products, like shower gels, body scrubs, hand lotion, body lotion. We've got literally something for everyone, and we do have some amazing gift sets. So, um, with Christmas coming up, just keep that in mind. So I love you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your afternoon.